back to our channel that is AI next generation. So in this particular video, we will develop a series of deep learning projects. So we will go part wise, part one, part two, part three, so that you can just understand deeply. So the project will be related to the COVID-19 checks X-ray detection. Okay, this is the famous data set where you will have some normal, some viral bacteria, then and the third type will be the COVID-19. So this three data set, this three class will be there in this data set. So from there, you are you have to develop some model that is a deep learning model. You will train the deep learning model so that it can be used for the COVID-19 detection whenever you will give whenever you have trained the model okay so whenever you have trained the model and you want to predict something in the future that's related to the whether the chest x-ray you have just uh, detection that's related to the normal or it, it is a from viral or it is it is a covid 19 patient okay so you have to develop one application you can just say so that is a covid 19 chest x-ray detection this is a data set so this thing already has been written in the blog where you can just go and directly read also i will also make the video so you can just read from my website that is a ai next generation that is a AI new generation i have written so in this it is written by our ai next generation team that is a pranavi so you can go and watch even the blocks of the various type of deep learning projects even so in this particular blog you can just go through step by step even for this i will just make the video where i will just explain step by step how we have gone through every processes okay so we will first of all this video is only related to the introduction part to the which particular project we are doing that is a covid 19 and how we will go flow okay so this is the part one of the particular series so here we are just you already have just seeing about the data set covid 19 data set so how how you know about the viral the normal and the covid the chest x-ray you have, whenever you are just scanning the patient uh, x-ray chest x-ray and here if the person is suffering from the viral disease so you are just saying it's uh, it's like viral cough and cold but whenever you uh, the person is suffering from the corona virus so there x-ray will be the different as compared to the normal even you can just see here so yeah so we have to develop some models so it can be able to detect it is easily okay so we will also work through and we will see how we are just creating the model deep learning model okay so we will do this thing all thing with the help of pytorch library that is a deep learning library so we will first of all we will just make the video that's related to the importing libraries i will go step by step why we are using this library okay so then after loading the data set image augmentation part why we are going to use the image augmentation part why we are using image folder and data loader so this thing all thing will be explained in the step by step okay so in the video so if you are going to read this blog even you can go get the coding part in the blogs okay so you can just directly see how the we have just creating the model and how the train the model you are just uh, doing everything it is written there and everything we will do with the in the video also writing the step by step so you will able to understand how we are just making the model okay okay so we are just getting the 97 percent accuracy in this and it, it was a really good model then you are just visualizing this same model what you have trained you want to visualize something in the real world scenario so in for that also you can just see what was the normal and and actual you can just make the actual level was covid and you are just and your model has been also predicted as covid and here actual was normal and your model has been predicted as a normal okay so they are the various type of and even you can just go for the viral okay so you are able to see these things okay so this was about the blogs but we will go more depth whenever we are just going with the co uh, video so that what you are just seeing now so this uh, we will go step by step i will just cover part by video the pa first part this is the first part where i am just giving the introduction how we are going to go flow step by step where you will cover the first of all we will just see what covid chest 19 chest x-ray data set is and then after we are going to step by step importing data loading data training data already i have just said there and visualizing the data set okay so this is particular data set and already have been uploaded in my uh, drive so i will just give you the link of that particular drive even you can just find this link in here this is the drive where you can just directly download from there it's open it's like it will be up training and it will be up testing okay so in the training you will have three classes 
one will be the basically related to the covid normal and viral okay so in covid you will have the all the images that's related to the covid okay so you can just see this will be the covid related and yeah and if you are going for the viral then there is a normal so if you are not suffering from any covid or if you are not suffering from any viral disease you can just say so yeah so this is your chest x-ray of that particular and you, and the third one is a viral okay so viral pneumonia you can just say so you are able to see uh, and this is the chest x-ray group for them okay? so you have three total class and you want to build a model so that it can able to classify between a covid between a normal or a viral okay so this is your main task this is your main objective okay so we are going to do step by step so you will able to understand it clearly so hope so this this is the part one video i am just giving you the short introduction how you are just seeing the data set and how you are going to go flow step by step okay in the second video i will go through the more about the importing the libraries okay so importing the libraries where you will see which particular library you are going to use for what okay so uh, we will see in the next video so i'm just making the short video so you will only concentrate the small parts it can be easily it it should be really easy for you if you have any doubt you can just comment it out in my video so i will get back to you soon so that's all for the this part one video hope so we will look forward for the part two video thank you